This video is presented by Braintree Communications of Brisbane, Australia and features the Axon G2210 FPOS to IP terminal adapter and router. The Axon's main function is to convert dial EFT transactions for transmission over IP networks. These networks include ADSL, GPRS, satellite internet and 3G. The great thing about the Axon is you don't need an expensive front-end processor. The smarts are in the Axon, not in the network. As well as converting dial transactions to IP, the Axon can also act as a standard GPRS router for connecting IP devices like computers, sensors and other IP devices to public GPRS networks. And because the Axon has full router functionality, it can have business rules that improve reliability and reduce transmission costs. For secure transmission over public networks like the internet, the Axon supports IPsec and SSL encryption. The Axon G2210 is SNMP manageable and also has a web interface. For large fleets, there is a web-based management system called GLIA that allows remote monitoring, reporting, code upgrades, reports and alarms. Suncorp Netway Bank uses Axon G2210s in its fleet of 300 automatic telemachines. Looking at the front of the Axon, you will notice a series of LEDs. Starting from left to right, we have a power indicator to let you know that the Axon's turned on. Link and activity lights to show Ethernet connectivity and activity. And then a series of five LEDs. These LEDs have a number of functions, including GPRS signal strength, transaction processing activity and connectivity to the FPOS host. This is the backplate of the Axon. Starting from left to right, there is a small GPRS antenna for use if the GPRS feature is turned on. For low signal strength areas, there are higher gain external antennas available. Next to the antenna, we have the SIM draw. This is where the GPRS SIM is inserted. There are three GPRS service providers in Australia, including Telstra, Optus and Vodafone. The Axon G2210 has been tested with these carriers and a number from outside Australia. The next port is the terminal port. This is where the FPOS terminal connects. Normally the FPOS terminal connects to a telephone socket. This port replaces the telephone socket. An RJ12 to RJ45 cable is supplied standard with the Axon. Next to the terminal port is the Ethernet port. This is for connecting the Axon to IP services such as ADSL, 3G routers or satellite internet routers. There is a mode button that has special technical support functions and then a 12 volt DC connector for power. The Axon comes standard with a 240 volt AC to 12 volt DC power adapter. Being 12 volts, the Axon will work quite happily in mobile and marine environments. This slide demonstrates the process of converting the transaction to IP. In the first step, someone swipes a card through the FPOS terminal, which raises a telephone call. This telephone call is answered by the Axon G2210, which acts as a telephone exchange and a modem rack. It trains up, extracts the FPOS AS2805 message, and sends the transaction via an IP network to some sort of FPOS service provider. In this case, it's sending it through to white label network. That transaction is then converted into a format that is carried over an X25 network to the appropriate bank. The bank processes the transaction and in return sends the acknowledgement transactions back through the network using a reverse path. For more information about the Axon G2210, visit whitelabelnetworks.com.au or send an email to marketing at whitelabelnetworks.com.au.